Add a dagger, cast or cut a land. <laughs> Chain Whirler number five. Why not Scargan? Just because it's too expensive. Scargan's a good card though. Haste is pretty good. What's the best deck for best of three? Mono red, mono blue, gate control, or nexus gate? Out of these four decks, I would probably pick mono blue. But I would probably play Saltai if I was playing best. I would start with Saltai anyways if I was playing best of three. So let's see, if I play Rick Smotty, should I just gamble here? Just so much better if I draw land. It's pretty close, I think. The downside is that if I play Rick Smotty and I break on my top two cards for all lands, I can play Rick Smotty again next turn and see an extra card and hit my land drop. Also, I need to draw a non, like, unclaimed territory doesn't even do it, right? Just to cast spells, not abilities. Phoenix really good against them. Do I not main deck har Harpooners? No. There's very little blue in best of one. I decided to max out on, on Revelers instead. I think it's smarter. If I was playing this deck and I was playing it in best of three, I would probably try to have four Harpooner between my main and my sideboard, which means I'd probably end up playing Harpooner in the main. <laughs> Is that a weird version of the Scrybog? Discard gutter bones, draw gutter bones? Maybe. I think I just pump, right? Oh, wow. That's kind of good beats. I think it was reasonable to pump. They play either zero or one blank. This way I play around counter spells. Their two one ones are keeping up. Down to 11. This game's looking pretty grim.
pretty good results. Wait, what? I targeted the wrong one? Oh my god. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was blocking Rick Smotty for some reason. Which made no sense. And then he still countered it. One, two, three, four. All right, what's going on here? Oh, it's actually tapping my territory. I feel like usually it doesn't tap the ter territory. It did look like he was blocking Rick Smiley. I don't know. I feel like sometimes it's not super. That's one thing they could improve on, like clarity of the game stage. Oh yeah, right. It was my only green source, so I tabbed the territory. Dumb. All right, I wonder if I can scare them in making a bad block. I mean, I have to attack with everyone anyways. It doesn't really matter. Looks like I'm going to lose this game. It's pretty close, though. I see if they have dive down. It's just GG. Oh, that doesn't kill me. Kind of does though. <laughs> Can I even draw anything? Brad Nelson was playing one sleep the other day. I actually had one sleep in my deck when I came second at a GP. I was testing it and I was like, it was between Dead and Essence Scatter and I was like, I felt like Sleep was doing a decent bit of work. It was funny because I was, I think I was fairly, fairly anti Sleep at first. Well, this game, if I had a bunch of Harpooners, I probably would have won instead of Rick Smuddy. It was also kind of mana screwed. No shock, no one drop. Sparadra. That might be a French player. It's a French word. Sparadra, like something in. Is it a Brando? Yeah, it's French surgical tape. <laughs> Funny. Probably fellow Frenchman. Paradra is the name of that character in Noobs, the French web series. Okay. I was not aware of that little pop culture reference. I don't even know which, what Noobs is. A turnabout would be good in modern? I don't know. Probably not. Is there any combos? Does you already have like turnabout cards? I'm not too sure. Um, let's see, what are my options? Well, I'm going to start by attacking. 
And I'm going to play Domery and minus it, I guess. It's pretty brutal. Four mana, uh, healing salve. Not great. Not great, Bob. Not great. At least I sent four lands to the bottom, right? All right, statue. Let's go. Let's go, Craig. Let's go. We have two cards left. Hmm. It's kind of a close one. Mark Samadhi is really bad right now. All right, I'll attack. I'll play the beat down. Not sold on Domri. I don't. I think you're being. Uh, I don't think you should. You know, it's like when something bad's just really happened. You don't want to make hard like rush decisions. That's what it kind of feels like. Pretty good spot though. Just basically need them to not top deck frenzy, I think. Obviously, if I ever top deck statue, statue at any point, it's just probably over. Hmm. I guess I say that and then I just cast Chain Whirler. Oh wow. <sighs> Alright. Spin the wheel. It's the only difference between Platinum and Diamond players. The Diamond players are just much luckier. From zero to a hundred. From zero to a hundred. They even they haven't even played a land yet. It's not even like, I mean, obviously it was over average term, but it's not like it was anything that extra extraordinary. Four mana draw 10 seems better than four mana scribe four mana to the bottom. I mean, to be fair, when you break on Domri, you're in really bad shape if you didn't have Domri, probably, but yeah. I feel if Domri was like some kind of dragon this game, I might have one. Maybe Domri should just be a, a dragon. I don't think I can draw anything. Put them down to one. Alright, it's a good game. Kind of surprised there's no white deck whatsoever. Maybe white's not very good against Esper. How's the white versus Esper matchup in best of one? Does anyone know? Huh, that's a really tough one. All right, I'm just gonna discard.
It's gonna be ugly. No cry. Still gonna be ugly. And they say Esper is the best that can be a one. Low, low, low. <laughs> Literally, Esper has looked like worse than a limited deck today. Just always miss their land drop, never have it. Rick's money was really good this game, you gotta admit. You gotta admit. Like, if it was a harpoon, I was just super dead because I just didn't have green mana. I mean, I might have mulligan, I guess. Them bones. Oh, no stream tomorrow afternoon, by the way. Got somewhere I need to be, so... Take the rare afternoon off. Wow, reclamation stage. The technology. I think Brondodon's probably much better than reclamation stage. If you're gonna go down... Unless there's other reasons I'm missing, but... Can't even imagine... Come ever imagine playing Reclamation Sage over Brontodon. Maybe if you're playing Vanifar, maybe you're playing Vanifar in their deck. I haven't seen a Vanifar in years, but is Spell Collector legit? I mean, it's a good one drop. <laughs> oh man, I didn't get a screenshot. Anyone got a screenshot of me against Gabriel? It's kind of ass. All right, we're two cards off our combo. We're one card off our combo. We did the hard part. What if the deck just trolls me and I just never draw land number four? What is called if I beat Gabriel? Is it like a suicide? Killing myself? Should I just block? Hmm. Just Whirler will be enough? Yeah, I don't know. They're probably gonna have, I'm probably gonna die. They're probably just gonna go locks it on next turn, and then I'm gonna have to play Chain Whirler just to have a blocker. I'm still gonna lose somehow. Open, just chilling. Block beside, yeah, block because of the elephant. Yeah, I agree. I, I, there's no need to be greedy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I can... Yeah, should've blocked. Should've blocked. Uh, this is kind of... I really don't want to discard the Phoenix. I kind of have to. Mm, I don't. I'm just gonna get punished for max grade. 
When Rex Mighty Reveler enters the battlefield, discard a card, then draw a card. This game was fairly poorly played by me. Stop messing around and Or not paying four? I want to pay four. Okay, how works so. They're paying with their life. Yeah. <laughs> Opponent goes first and my hand is unplayable. Phoenix is a good card, but... <sighs> Alright. Well, maybe there's some slow creature deck. Play it out. I have Domri. Maybe, maybe they won't expect Domri, and it it can steal a game or something. This is one of the nice perks of Domri. People don't really expect a four mana Planeswalker. Is Domri good enough? I don't know. I'm only playing one. It's definitely a decent Magic card. Is it good enough, man? It's not exactly the mashup where you want to draw all the... No Absorb, I guess they call them Cast Absorb, no Mortify, no Cast Down. Karn. Looks like their mana screwed. Is it a ride in a ram shell? Well, you need to play a lot of creatures. Just playing it for the ramp? Seems kind of sketch. I fly to the moon. <laughs> Kaisenia. <laughs> I fly to the moon. I shrink the moon. I grab the moon. I sit on the toilet. <laughs> Apparently that's what Kai thinks of me playing Domery in standard. Kai is not a fan. It's classic full houses.
Thanks. How should I how, what should what how should I caption that on Twitter? My greatest opening. Top five all time versus top five all time. Tomato. A bit braggy. Looks like they might not even have Kaya's Ralph. Should have saved the double statue. <laughs> no, not really. Playing with myself. Eh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hard pass on the uh, on playing with myself. Thanks, Death though. <laughs> Only have one left, right? Looks like they drew Kaya's raft, right? Why would they use Moment of Craving? Mm, rip. I like how it does a little shake. <laughs> the little shaky shakes. Not sure why. <laughs> so much less for yeah. Lots of Esper. They don't have Absorb Mana. Probably don't have it in hand, but... Kinda wish I had one more mana so I could maybe kill my dude. They already used two Rust as Contempt though. And they have Karn in their deck, which is another four mana card, so hopefully they're out of Contempts. Did you notice any different in decks or open and choose as you climb in ranks? Um, not a ton. Maybe there's less brews. But I don't feel like there's a huge difference in proportion between Esper, White, and Red. I don't know. It's kind of hard to know. Hmm. I need Phoenix, basically, I think. Yeah, that is not a phoenix. If they have clear the mine, they could always shuffle back them into the deck. People usually don't play clear the mine in Esper Control. You don't need it. You never get decked. I don't know, I guess I don't play a lot of Esper, so maybe you do, but I doubt it. 
I just am in terrible shape, but as long as they don't have a Teferi or flip the uh, flip search, there's hope. Jinxed it. I mean, that's that was a game where we mulligan to six and our opening like 10 cards had free statue statues, so it's kind of almost a miracle we got quote-unquote this close. I might give Mardu a try tonight. Holy Diva has been crushing was Mardu in best of three. I'll see if it holds up in best of... Seems like it might, because it's kind of... It's another creature deck where you don't have to play a ton of... Dead cards against Esper, right? So let's, let me... She posted her list earlier. She's playing... Yeah, she's playing like no dead cards. She has Drill Bit, Mortify. Only two Mortifies. Kind of old dudes. That looks pretty sweet. You're splashing a lot of colors to do what Mono White's doing. Oh, well, they have a different angle. You get Judith, which is pretty good in creature battles. Bodyguard, Vanguard. It is true you play a lot of what white cards do. Yeah, that's definitely a valid point. You could give a Holy Diva a follow on Twitter too, but I'll, uh, I'll obviously post a link in chat. Oh, uh, second Overgrown Tomb. She got up to rank 133. Not bad. Seems like there's like under 200 mythic players right now. There's like super few mythic players. Cause I haven't seen ranks. I haven't seen anyone ranked above 100. Oh, maybe when I was watching other people's stream, they were playing in 200 ranks maybe, but it's, it's, it's pretty low. Hmm. Fourteen, you say? It's probably kind of a close call. I think I like that. Harder than just go for chain world or statue, statue. I get being in that spot where I have to decide between taking damage or trading for. Soaking up damage in a shock. I think it's kind of close every time. Do I even need to go for it? Makes no sense, right? All right, whatever, I won't go for it. <laughs> <laughs> ah -hoo -hoo! Look the boys! Say it, chat. Say it. Mm. 
Well, now they're just tilting their balls off. They're just throwing random shocks at. Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. It finishes off. All right, all right, all right. That was a random, random. Uh, my bad. Sorry, opponent. Yeah. Retains a base death touch, but they still want to finish. Finish it off. Oh. Bonsoir, Petit Phoenix. Kind of pigeon, right? In some ways. I think that Rekindling Phoenix would get mad if I said it was a pigeon. Probably. Should I have not played my land last turn? Please give them something to think about. I mean, I have to block, I think. Their attack is just a free roll. They probably have it, because people don't... I don't think they would make that attack if they didn't have it, but... You never know. I have no cards in... No, never mind, I have no cards in hand. I'm just super dumb. If I had a card in hand, it'd be, like, scarier. But given, given that I don't... It's not as scary when they attack in that spot. That was a good draw, but I mean, Frenzy would have been just as game winning. Uh, I'm just like, I should, I could probably scoop. I'm like zero percent. Different is I'm 0% and it's going to go fast. It's not like when you're playing against Esper and you're 0%, but it's going to take another 5 minutes. Can you name Pigeon? I don't think you can name Pigeon. Right? You can only name legal cards that are else that are legal like types that are legal and standard it's the same way i'm not sure you can name black lotus was meddling mage when you're playing modern not the greatest hand Alright, I think we need to just set up, try and set up Chain Whaler combo at some point. I'm just going to take it. I'm going to try and keep all my creatures in play. Like a super aggressive attack. What I've done was Hasty Boy. Hmm. I think sometimes when they're still at when they're still at twenty, I'm like, oh, I won't give it haste because you know what's the point. But probably not a great way to go about it. I have four cards left. I 
Maybe this is better if they have Vivian Reed. Gutterbone has seemed super underwhelming. I agree. It is a one drop warrior, but I agree. Is there another? I think you need your one drop to be warriors, or else they're just so hard to cast. Not a big fan of just getting time locked. I was gonna say go. Maybe I should have upkeeped again. Maybe I also shouldn't play around Vraska's Contempt. Two Memorial is so greedy when you're already playing Krasis. Fifteen. Got back two crisis. Six, nine, ten. Down to five. And then they can crisis for go up to eight. Sorry, and have lethal. It is kind of worrisome they didn't even think about finality given my board I think I just need to play one more dude this way even if they have a good turn I can still win that finality I'm kind of in rough shape anyways I think six mana to pump the lieutenant what are shocking themselves? Five mana on oh, no, a six mana. 